welcome back to the Decades Challenge. Last episode, it was Halloween, and uh, this little guy was born. It was quite eventful. I was going to have a little Halloween tea party and invite all of our friends over, but Marianne was not feeling great all day, so I decided not to. And then she had this little guy probably around dinner time, honestly, so it's just as well we didn't invite all our friends over. Um, this episode, we are here today, it's about 5.30 in the morning, Luella's just woken up. Um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and also Jacob Jr. will be aging up. Um, I'm thinking I might turn the grid on briefly for Thanksgiving, just so we can complete this tradition and this tradition, otherwise we can't, we can't bake anything and we can't do a grand meal without the grid on, so. And they would, they would have cooked a grand meal, I went and looked up how Thanksgiving was celebrated, not just in this time period but currently as well, because I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, and yeah, the grand meal was a big part of it and still seems to be today, so. We will be turning the grid off so we can complete that. And then next video, it's the 1900s. But we're not there yet. So it's 1899 currently. And Lulu needs the loot. I believe the sink is broken. No, the sink is fixed. I thought we broke the sink last night. I guess not. Weird. Has she done her homework? I think she must have done because I can't do anything with her. Yeah, homework complete. Let's have her mop that up actually while she's there. And then is there anything? I think we do need to get her an activity table actually for her aspiration. Maybe we can do that and have her do a quick drawing while we wait for school to start. Okay, so there was a dresser in the nursery. I've just moved that into Marianne and Jacob's room because it's not like Luella was using it for anything. And now she has this activity table. So let's have her come and draw shapes. Her parents are up now. Marianne's going straight for the bookcase, which we'll let her do. And Jacob. He wants to get a promotion, he wants to be mischievous. Um he's come or oh, he does kind of need a bath, so let's send him off to have a bath quickly. Marianne's already bought a browsing book, she wants to solve hard problems and read something at the library. Let's have her solve some hard problems. Oh, Luella is already creativity level four. She's got to draw two pictures while she's inspired, so I'm not sure how we'll get her inspired. Maybe she can inspire herself with her own art. Oh, we've got to stop now and go to school. Struggles of being a child. Marianne is doing the dishes. Oh, Jacob's out the bath. He's inspired from his from using the water off the grid. So maybe we can do that with Luella. Maybe that will work. Let's have him whiz around the garden. We can sell the roses. We have some things to water. Oh, we have apples. Our bees have mites. Marianne's decided to come out and help. She is talking to this plant here. Jacob is awake. Jacob Jr., I should say. We need to come up with a nickname for him. I'm thinking either Jake or Jack. I'm kind of erring towards Jack at the moment, actually. Did he collect any honey? I don't think he did. He didn't. I think last time we had to send Marianne out here to get the honey, didn't we? Let's put the apples in the fridge. And have Marianne try and commune with the bees. He seemed to prefer her for some reason. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Luella wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was her friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should she ask her friend or let it go? Um, what would Lulu do? 
I think Lulu would ask a friend, honestly. Oops, turns out the party wasn't even for Luella's friend. It was only a show on TV. Luella feels a little silly, but very glad she asked. Well, TV doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Maybe, like, a theatre show? It was a theatre show. Has she... She didn't get any honey either. Hmm. Okay. The baby is smelly now. So we'll sort that out. And then we go. And then let's send Jacob off fishing for today. Might actually. There's another fishing spot up here, I think. I might send him here and see if he does better catch wise. Because he does still have a debt to pay off. I think it was 5,000 simoleons which we used to renovate the house at the beginning of the challenge. So we do need to at some point make 5,000 simoleons and then get rid of it all. Lily's come over. Hi, Lily. Come in. Discuss logic puzzles with Lily. And then I think we want to share our ideas. Yeah. Let's share our ideas with Lily. Yeah, share brilliant ideas. Maybe we could play chess with Lily too, actually. That could be fun. We know she likes to play chess in the park whenever we're there. There we go. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I am glad that Marianne has found a friend. And they do have a lot of similar interests, so they're both geniuses. Let me discuss your latest book with Lily while you're playing. Oh, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel the same about me too. Oh, they're like official friends now. Close sentiment. Closer from happy memories. Oh, Oh, Marianne has learned that Lily hates children. I knew it. As soon as she went into labour last episode and Lily was like, nope, nope, bye. I knew, I knew she hated children. I should probably go check on Jacob. Oh, he's having a great time. He's feeling confident. He caught a great fish. He's caught these three. All of which we will sell, because we do need the money. Oh. That was an upgrade part. I don't think fishing up here is really any better than fishing behind our house, honestly. I think it's kind of the same. Where has gone, Maria? Right, okay, she's emptying that. <gasps> Luella's home. She's now a B student. And... Oh, she wants to become friends with Lily. That's going to be hard, Lou. She doesn't like children. You're still a child. Uh, why don't you... You can try. <laughs> you can try and befriend her. Marianne's whizzing around doing all the chores of her own accord, bless her. Lily's kind of hungry. I don't think either of her parents are, or that Jacob needs to stop fishing and go to the loo. Like, now. Oh, she just caught a bonefish. What on earth? It's quite good. That's 45 simoleons, though. She snuck up here while her friend is over to read a book, bless her. Why don't you go and cuddle your son quickly while you're here? Oh, Lily's going. And then let's have Marianne cook some dinner with Lulu. I think the only thing they can cook is a garden salad. Oh, they can do a stew. Let's do a mushroom stew then. Lily, sweetheart, you gonna help at all? You're just gonna stand there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she's helping. She's got a bowl of something out. <laughs> I'm not sure how Lulu helped contribute to that, but she did somehow. She's gonna grab some to eat immediately. Marianne's not hungry yet. He is, though. You can grab a serving. Oh, he wants to discuss his fear of death with a ghost or an elderly sim. Or give the Grim Reaper a death flower. We'll have to keep an eye out for elderly sims or ghosts. What's this? Lie about career. He's constantly lying about his career to his wife, I swear. Oh, the baby's crying. Let's send Marianne up to deal with that. Who broke the doll's house? Who did that? 
Alright, let's have Jacob come up and fix that. Well, actually, wait, no. Doesn't Marianne need to fix something for her aspiration? Yeah. Let's have Marianne come and fix that then. He can stay down here and distract Lulu so she doesn't see. She's got her llama corn toy out. Oh, bless her. Alright, let's send her to the loo and then she has got to do her homework. I'm not sure if she has school tomorrow or if it's a holiday, like one of those. It says she's got school, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Baby's crying again. Jacob's already there. I tried to send Marianne, but Jacob's like, nope. She's going to go clean those dishes. He is such a happy dad, bless him. Now she's feeling hungry. Can we bake it? No, we can't bake anything off the grid. Didn't think so. Oh, he's getting tired now. So let's send him up to bed. Lulu is also getting tired, but she needs to finish her homework, which for some reason she's doing in the outhouse. On the floor. He's not going to be able to sleep until the baby's sorted out, so let's have him sort this baby out. And then Marianne. It's going to go help her other baby with her homework, bless. Honestly, I think Marianne is a person you want to be helping you with your homework since she is a literal genius. Right, there we go. Homework complete. Lulu's going to go off to bed. And Marianne. Marianne, I'm going to have go to the loo. And, oh, this thing's broken. Right, we'll have her go to the loo, have a bath, and then fix the sink. Because she's not actually tired yet. For some reason... Lulu is stuck on the floor. It's telling me she can't move, so I'm gonna have to turn. Gonna have to turn the cheats on really quickly, and that was not the right button. <laughs> turn the cheats on and reset her. Leave the outhouse now. Yeah. Yep, 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 that was the problem. Okay, let's send her to bed. Marianne's just had a eureka moment. Something about being in the bath just gives her ideas. Okay, she's fixed the sink and she's feeling uncomfortable, but energetic. She keeps bouncing between the two, but she is tired, so we'll send her to bed. It is nearly 1am. Oh, baby is awake. And I guess Jacob's the first one there. Marianne's like, I am awake though, so I'm just gonna read. Oh, she wants to try for a baby again. We'll wait till this one ages up. And <laughs> if she wants that again, maybe we will. But for now, he's in here. I don't I don't want them to traumatize that poor boy. Right, you can come down and uh Grab something to eat. Oh, and it's officially Thanksgiving. So we need to cook a grand meal. Uh, thankful spirit. Baking. And tell story. Oh, oh, where's the fire? Oh, oh, it's on Marianne. Oh, 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 come and put her out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, put her out! Put her out! Nobody's just leaving! Okay, she's alright. She's okay. She's incredibly burned, but she's okay. No thanks to Jacob, what the hell? He just stood there and watched her. And I was like, dude, put your wife out, she's on fire. She had to put herself out. What the hell? And he's still rude to safety. And now he's going off to extinguish it now that it's done. Where are you going? There is no fire now. She is fine. You messed up, my dude. Maybe come and check on your daughter. She was just woken up by her parents screaming. Come and be thankful for her. And then go and check on your son. 
who no one's want to go and get. Right, Lulu, do you have school in an hour? Holiday. Thought it might be. Okay. Um, grab some leftovers for now. We'll have our grand meal later. That was an eventful way to wake up. Now, the only tradition that actually counts for Luella, apparently, because she's a child, is tell stories. So, we can have her do that. Let's have her clean the floor, actually. Where her mum nearly burned to death. There we go, okay. And let's have her tell stories. Tell a funny story to her mum. God, it's so laggy today. I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is, and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what else to try. Let's have her tell Lulu a story. Oh, Lulu and Marianne are good friends now. Okay, let's send Jacob around the garden quickly. Oh, Lulu and Marianne have a sentiment. And it's a cute one. And Lulu likes fitness? Sure. Let's have Marianne and Lulu. I'll turn the grid on. I'll turn the grid on for today. And for the foreseeable future, because one of the um, rules that changes in the 1900s is the grid can be on. Just for um, lights, apparently, but I guess also cooking. And that will be so nice. That will be so nice. Let's do a grand meal. Let's have turkey. And then once she's started, I'll have Luli come and join her. Decades change tomorrow. I'm a bit excited. <laughs> the fashion not may not change as much between this decade and the next one as it will between decades later, but I'm still excited. I am still so excited to get to play dress up with them all again. Love that Lulu helping seems to mostly be Lulu distracting her mum talking. Honestly, how relatable. Jacob's handiness level 3 from fixing the toilet. And Lulu's just pieced out. She's like, nope, don't want to help with that. I'm gonna eat this. No, don't, don't, don't. Tin is nearly ready. Let's put that in the fridge. If you're bored, why don't you come and finish your drawing? Dinner's ready. Let's call everyone to the grand meal. It's 11am, so it's an early lunch, but... They were up at 5am. She's come out here to talk to him while she eats her dinner, because he's still fixing the loo. Why don't you go and grab some dinner, mate? And you come inside rather than eating your Thanksgiving dinner in the outhouse. You enjoy the company of your family. She decided she was going to finish eating in the outhouse and then come and enjoy the fam her family's company. Not sure what that says. Why are we tense? Oh, from the fire. Fair enough. Jacob's crying. And since Marianne's the only one who's finished, we'll send her up to deal with that. Alright, Lulu needs the toilet. Let's have Marianne put that away. And throw that out. Jacob's crying again. Um, okay. There we go. Dealt with. Send you to go and have a... Oh, we have all of the options now. You can still only have baths, though. She is going to have a nap. Lulu's still kind of bored. Let's have her finish her shapes. Jack's crying. Let's have Marianne come and deal with that and then take a nap. She is tired, bless her. Oh, it's Jacob's birthday, officially. So let's age him up. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is wait until tonight when Thanksgiving is over and they go to bed and all of that jazz and then I'll age him up. He does want to tell a joke. It's a joke about teachers. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it now. Let's age up, baby Jacob. We did get the notification. Oh, he's inherited his dad's hair too. I just randomised this trait and he got independent, so... We are obviously going to give him a makeover in a second, but... 
but now I want a cutie. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, this is what the game generated for little Jack. Um, I have changed his eye colour because for some reason it gave him this one, which neither of his parents have. Marianne has, I think it's this one, she has a brown eyes, which Lulu has inherited as well. And Jacob's are over here. So for some reason his were here. I've given him Jacob's eyes because I figured that's what they were going for. That's that's the closest. <laughs> so I'm not sure why the game decided to give him these ones, but um, yeah, I've I've given him his dad's eyes. Um, but yeah, this is what the game generated for him, which is not very late 1890s, early 1900s. His outfit I have skewed slightly more towards the early 1900s just because we're changing decade literally tomorrow in Sims time so I didn't want to have to give him an outfit for less than a day and then change it all over again. But um, this is his everyday outfit. I've looked at so many pictures of <laughs> um Edwardian children and um there is a lot of variety <laughs> um this neat hairstyle with a parting either to the side or in the middle seems to be popular for boys but clothing wise it very much depended on your financial situation I think as to what you were wearing so I've given him this because it's warm these trousers because they go with it um, for his formal, this is what the game gave him, this is what I have given him, um, this hat matches his dad's, how cute is that? I'm not sure if bow ties were as much of a thing at this time, but shorts for little, bo little boys, little boys wore shorts, because they're easy to play in, and this was a time, unlike say 200 years before this was a time when they acknowledged that little boys were going to be getting into mischief and they needed to be able to run around and move about so shorts definitely period appropriate the big socks ideally they probably come up to about here but these are just the socks that come with the game but overall i'm pretty happy with this one i think that's a really cute little formal outfit for a little boy for this time period sleepwear this should look familiar if you've been following along. This is Luella's old nightgown. Um, for a poor family, which we are, we are poor, we're something like minus 4,000 simoleons at the moment, we are in debt severely. <laughs> um, so for a poor family, you would reuse clothes because it would save money. So he has, this is, this is Luella's nightgown. He's wearing Luella's nightgown. Um, it's not the only one of Luella's clothes I've given him. I will warn you now. And I don't want to see any comments that are like, oh my goodness, you're pushing this modern agenda on him. This is something that happened. This is something that there is photographic evidence of. This is something that has been written about. If your family was poor, you would reuse clothes. Hand-me-downs were a thing. Hand-me-downs still are a thing. But, I don't know, the, the gender thing was less. If it was cold and you had a warm dress that your sister was no longer using because she'd grown out of it, it did not matter that you were a boy. When you were this young, you'd wear the dress. Maybe when he's a little older, he wouldn't. I don't think you'd put, like, a child-aged sim in the dress unless you were really, really, really poor, but for this age, he's getting his sister's hand-me-down still. For party, um, this is exactly the same as his formal. It's so cute though, look at him. Oh, he's so sweet. Um, for swimwear, I just gave him this. I don't think he's going to use it, really. Hot weather. 
this is what I was talking about. This is his sister's hot weather dress. I think this is her hot weather dress. His sister wore this dress in this swatch. So it's a hand-me-down. I figured it's airy. I do have a pair of shorts, which are pretty cute. I'll show you the shorts. I did almost go with these, but I couldn't find a period-appropriate top to go with them. I mean, there's this jumper, but it's it's a hot weather outfit, so I'm not going to put them in a jumper. And this shirt just didn't feel Edwardian, and I couldn't find any CC shirts that I liked that went with it, that fit the time period. So, he's wearing his sister's dress. He's wearing his hand-me-downs again. And cold weather, this is what the game gave him. This is what I gave him, again. His party hat makes an appearance, and then this is an outfit from, I think, the Free Holiday? I think the Free Holiday expansion thingamabob? And it's a really cute outfit that I don't use often enough, so there we go. That is Jacob Jr. All set for the 1900s. I'm gonna head back to the, um, the house now. We'll play out the rest of Thanksgiving, and then I will end the video. Okay, we're back in the house. Um, oh, he's hungry. Let's have Jacob put him down. He's going to the high chest. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Put him down, down here. And then what I will do is I'll go get, I'll go get the turkey out of the fridge. We can have turkey. Oh, hold on a minute. Your girl's messed up. I haven't turned off his default game outfit, so he's still wearing them. I was like, Jack, why is your bowl cut still there? That's why. Oh, he's getting hangry. Oh, we've got the movement skill already. I'm running to that food. There we go. Much happier. Let's have Lulu come and tell him a funny story. She hasn't quite got this one. Jacob's come and usurped her. She's getting so into this story, she's so animated. I definitely think she's picked up her dad's sense of humour. There we go, tradition completed. Let's clean that up for him, he's too little to reach the sink. And then he's getting kind of tired. I'll have Jacob put him to bed. Marianne's planning on cleaning the bath when she wakes up from her nap, so we'll let her do that and then send her to bed properly. How's Lulu doing? Oh, she's tidying up, bless her heart. When you put that away, what else can we have you do, sweetheart? Can I have her rake the leaves? No, let's not make her do that. Not at half eight at night. When it's cold. Freezy cold. No, just cold. Oh, she's off to draw something. She wants to make some crafts. Oh, look. We've acquired the imagination skill. Right, let's send Jacob to bed too. Now let's send you to bed too, you're getting a little tired. There we go, all in bed. Luella had a good Thanksgiving, so did Jacob, and so did Marianne. Everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Okay, um, I'm going to end this episode here, and end this decade here, because tomorrow, or today even, today <laughs> it's the 1900s so when i see you again hopefully next week <laughs> fingers crossed it will be a brand new decade everyone's clothes will have changed a little i'm so excited i'm so excited this is our first decade's change um we've also got jacob senior's birthday coming up how old will he be? Will he be an adult? Yeah, he'll be an adult. So, that's exciting. <laughs> so, that won't be next episode though. That will be probably in a couple of episodes time. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Decades change, here we come. If you're excited to give this video a like. If you're enjoying the gameplay so far, give it a like. Um, subscribe if you would like to keep up with the fielders and know when a new video goes up. I try to aim for every Wednesday, but 
sometimes that doesn't happen unfortunately so being subscribed is the best way to hop on that new video right on time and goodbye for now